we had a question about micro inverters and what micro inverters are so i put together something that will describe what a micro inverter is and also what is a use case for a micro inverter or in other words what, what is the appropriate uh, use for it so a micro inverter is different from a string inverter so typically in the majority of solar installations in South Africa and probably around the world as well you'd find that they are mostly comprised of string inverters so what does that mean it means that you have a whole string of solar panels either connected in series or even parallel and they all terminate at one inverter whereas with a micro inverter you have it is a one to one relationship so the inverter is directly connected to each individual panel so you have one panel to one inverter with a string inverter you have several panels or many panels terminating to one inverter so what are some of the advantages of, and of a, a micro inverter and when would somebody need to consider a micro inverter now fortunately in South Africa we have seven to eight hours of sunlight and uh, if you plan your installation correctly then you need to maybe trim tall trees that are going to cause shading but shading is one of the primary uses for installing micro inverters if you anticipate that you are going to have uh, shading du during the day then that's when you need to consider a micro inverter so with a string inverter if you have shading on one panel in your string that will proportionately degrade the performance across your entire string so if you have 50 percent shading on one panel it will commensurately degrade performance of the other panels as well However, with a micro -inv inverter, you can have shading on an entire panel or panels, and that will not affect the output or the generation of your other panels. So, I gave it some thought and I was wondering whether the cost of micro inverters reduces over time, then perhaps it would make a good use case. For low-cost housing so instead of buying a buying an inverter that is uh, 10,000 Rand you could possibly if micro inverters are cheaper at that time you could have maybe five solar panels and maybe five times 500 watt panels and each one have a micro inverter and that will simplify the installation on for low-cost housing okay so Finally, to just summarize, micro inverters, the installation is more, they also cost more than, than your regular inverter. Uh, personally, my opinion, I don't see a use case for it here in South Africa uh, for any regular installation. I would still go with a string inverter. However, if the, if the cost of the inverter comes down, then perhaps you could consider one. Also, you need to have higher gauge cable, so that also adds more to the cost. There's more labor involved. The other advantage of a micro inverter is you could track the capacity for e each panel. So that's uh, that's something that uh, that a string inverter cannot do at this point in time. So thank you for watching, and I trust that that gives you a high level overview of what my a micro inverter is. And if you like the video, please hit the like, thumbs up, thumbs up button, and please subscribe. Thank you.